Development of the Roycat, African Lynx, tank destroyer began in South African Republic in 1976. Production of this armored vehicle began in 1989. Around 240 of these tank destroyers were built. These replaced the aging Eland armored cars in service with the South African National Defense Force, the SANDF. The main goal was to develop a well-armored wheeled vehicle, capable of operating far away from supply bases. Its armament should be capable of defeating tanks of all types that were in service with neighboring countries. The main role for the Roycat tank destroyer is combat reconnaissance. Its secondary role is combat support and anti-guerrilla operations. Vehicle was used for deep penetration missions across the border. Front armor of the Roycat provides protection against 23mm armor-piercing rounds. All-round protection is against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. Hull floor has increased protection against mine blasts. The Roycat tank destroyer is completed with an NBC protection system as standard. It is also as fitted with exhaust smoke generator and smoke grenade dischargers. The Roycat is fitted with a fully stabilized GT-4 76mm main gun, which was developed from Italian OTO Molara naval gun. Despite its relatively small caliber at a range of 1,500 meters this high-velocity gun penetrates front armor of the tanks such as M48, T-54, T-55 and T-62 that were most widespread in that region. The gun is loaded manually. A total of 48 rounds of ammunition are carried for the main gun. Vehicle was fitted with a modern fire control system. The Roycat tank destroyer has a good fire accuracy at a range of 2,000 meters in day or night conditions and while firing on the move. Secondary armament consists of two 7.62 mm machine guns. One of them is mounted coaxially with the main gun and another is placed on top of the turret roof. Vehicle has a crew of four, including commander, gunner, loader and driver. The Roycat is powered by an unspecified V10 diesel engine, developing 563 horsepower. Engine is located at the rear. Its 8x8 configuration allows to maintain mobility after the loss of any wheel. This fire support vehicle is fitted with a central tire inflation system. Vehicle is also equipped with run-flat inserts which allow mobility after the loss of pressure in all wheels. This tank destroyer is not amphibious. Roycat 105 an upgun version fitted with the GT7 105mm high-pressure rifled gun. This gun fires a full range of NATO 105mm ammunition and has a rate of fire of 6 rounds per minute. The more powerful gun also changed overall combat capabilities of this tank destroyer. This Roycat was aimed primarily at the export market, as the SANDF did not specify for a 105mm gun. Development of the Roycat 105 was completed in 1994. However in the 1990s the export market was glutted with Cold War era AFVs and the Roycat 105 failed to attract any customers. Only a single prototype was built.